What's going on, ladies and gentlemen, and good afternoon. We are live at Eagle Oaks in Farmingdale, New Jersey, for the first virtual Mammoth Regional Chamber of Commerce Athena Awards. My name is Frankie Perez, and I will be your host throughout the entire afternoon. Now, if this is your first Athena Awards, welcome. And to give you a little background on Athena, Athena celebrates women as valued members and leaders in the community. Now, today is a completely different uh, vibe and platform from what you're used to at the Athena Awards. We brought the, our whole virtual aspect and really gave you a unique platform to still celebrate as if you were in person. And today we have seven nominees and two recipients of the Athena Award. We have a lot of amazing things that are going to go down today, as well as featuring two nonprofits. Today, we are featuring the Society of the Prevention of Teen Suicide and Preferred Behavioral Health Group. And to be able to donate and be a lot more active with those two groups, you're going to be able to donate at bidpal.net slash Athena. That's right, bidpal.net slash Athena. And don't forget, we also have a silent gift auction. Using the same link, you'll be able to bid on anything in our silent auction. Now, today in-house, we have the most wonderful person. I love her to death. It's the chair of Athena. Ladies and gentlemen, give me a nice virtual round of applause for Ivy Jacob. Frankie. I mean, make your way up here. Come on thank up you. here. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. You look so beautiful. I did it all for you. <laughs> and uh, give a little wave, a little virtual wave to everybody at Hi. home. I miss everybody. Uh, she is the brains behind bringing us in and making this whole virtual thing happen. And, you know, we're all new to the, the Athena world, right? We're new uh, as far as us learning more about Athena. It's uh, over 35 years, 35 years this year? 35 years that the uh, Monmouth Regional Chamber of Commerce is doing. Right. So yeah. in 35 years, you had so many nominees, Correct. so many recipients. How do you go about finding the nominees each year? That's a great question. The first thing is, is that everything I do every day, I always say, she could be an Athena. She could be Athena. And I can even say, he could be an Athena. Um, that's one way. The other way, the way that I did it this year, because we were more in-house than out and about, was stalking. So through the internet, I was able to stalk and see and find women, which wasn't difficult to do, in our community that, that was giving back to the community, successful in business, and mentoring other women to their full potentials. Um, and then the other way is through past Athenas. Those right. are the three main ways. Awesome, awesome. Well, we're super excited to, to see the seven nominees today. I know I am, um, but, so as far as everything that's changed, we're in a very unique time right now, Right. okay? What made the Chamber decide to move ahead with the program and what changes did you guys make? So for us, it was never an issue or a question of whether we were going to have the program. It was how were we going to be able to have the program. Right. And um, quite honestly, I watched your team, one of a kind events, and I saw that you really never missed a beat. You brought everything virtual right away. People didn't miss their weddings. They didn't miss their birthdays. They didn't miss their graduations or celebrations. And we thought, or I thought it was a great way to continue have to continue having this event. Absolutely. Absolutely. So with that, um, contacted you. <laughs> um, the, the, um, the board agreed, thank God. And um, away we went, we just ran with it. Awesome. We really did. So it was, it's exciting and it's all new to us. Well, thank you for believing in us and thank you for trusting us. Of course, um, it's too important of an event not to have. Absolutely, and everybody at home is so used to being in a room full of 250 people and right. you know, really creating that experience and that energy in the room on you know, so many important people in the room. There's so much at hand and you know, thank you for bringing us to really create that you know, in-person experience virtually for everybody. Right. But as we move ahead, I, I want to know, how do you actually select the recipients that get chosen? Another great question. So when the nominations come in, we carefully go through each nominee to make sure that they are hitting each of those categories. 
a lot of people are two out of three, but we need the three out of three in order to proceed. Once we select who will be our nominees for that year, a selection committee is then formed. This is a bunch of, um, I shouldn't say a bunch, but a group of people that never meet each other and are provided the nomination forms and a rubrics and they're encouraged to investigate and use the internet and Google, Google's your best friend, and <laughs> learn more about each nominee. They score and then the scores come back and it, that's how the whole process works. We wanna make sure again that none of the selection committee um, knows any of the nominees. So for argument's sake, if my best friend is nominated, I can't be on the selection committee. This year, it was very close. They, everybody was in one point of each other. It, it's amazing, uh, the quality of our nominees. That's awesome, that's awesome. And I didn't know there was so much that w was involved with choosing the nominees and you know, we're all learning. So it's yes. cool to hear how much is involved and really, you know, you guys strategize on how choosing it is so, you know, important. Um, and there's so many right. fine details. Very important. And our committee felt this year it was important to send the message out because we, as far as we're concerned as a committee and as a chamber, have seven winners this year. There'll be two recipients, one for Athena and one for Young Professional, Right. but seven winners and seven women that need to be celebrated today. That's awesome, that's awesome. So a last question I have for you, what changes do you see for the future of this program? Another fabulous question. So the exciting part of, of this whole thing, um, you know, obviously we've all been uh, dealing with the pandemic and we've had to adjust and change, but sometimes changes are great. And one of the things that we learned and we feel is that virtual is the way to go. We're hoping for hybrid. So uh -huh. I cannot wait to get 250 or 300 people back in a room so we can all celebrate. But we are also going to keep this virtual so that if you have relatives in different countries, in different states, that they can actually experience it with you. Absolutely, absolutely. So, Ivy, thank you so much for being Friendly, on the show. Thank you. Thank yes. you for doing this. No, thank you. I appreciate you having us. This is all new to us and all new to me. Um, but I'm not shy of being around a, a room full of a bunch of impactful, strong, and, uh, you know, uh, very supportive women. <laughs> and I love everything you guys stand for. Thank you. And you do such an amazing job of putting everything together. Thank you so much. Absolutely. So, you're going to hear more from Ivy Jaycott later on in our show. But right before we do so, we are going to kick off the entire Athena Awards with our President and Executive Director of the Chamber. So, I need a huge virtual round of applause for Tamara Gouda and Therese Rolke. Enjoy. Good afternoon. My name is Tamara Gouda and I'm the board president for the Monmouth Regional Chamber of Commerce and it is my honor and my privilege to welcome you all today to the 2020 Athena Awards. 2020 has been an extremely difficult year. All of us have dealt with many challenges in both our personal and professional lives. In order to overcome those challenges, we've all been forced to adapt and evolve, and this chamber is no different. The International Athena Awards are a long-standing part of this chamber's history and tradition, and there was no way we were gonna let 2020 be any different. Since the beginning of the pandemic, we have been committed to making sure we host these awards, and we are so lucky that we are here today, though we are here virtually. The women that have been nominated today deserve all the recognition that they are getting. All of them have accomplished great things in their professions. All of them have been committed to the community. All of them have helped mentor and be role models for the next wave of women leaders. All of them are fantastic nominees. And I look forward to seeing what holds in the future for all of them. Lastly, I wanna thank all of you for coming today. I wanna thank our sponsors, and I wanna thank the committee, for without which, we would not be able to hold these awards today. So thank you, enjoy the Athena Awards, and God bless. Hi, I'm Therese Rolke, the Executive Director of the Monmouth Regional Chamber of Commerce. Welcome to the 35th consecutive Athena Award Celebration. We are here today because of the tireless effort of the Athena Awards Committee led by Ivy Jaycott 
They worked hard all year long to figure out how during these times we can make this award ceremony happen and they figured it out. Here we are virtually. This is groundbreaking for us and you are all a part of this. We're here to celebrate seven incredible nominees. These are women that work tirelessly in their community, volunteering, supporting women, helping them to develop their full leadership potential. They're amazing at what they do professionally, in their business and on the job. And I know the judges had a very tough time selecting the two recipients of the award. Thank you to our sponsors and to all the folks that donated gifts for our gift baskets. We're going to um, support our two nonprofits, the Society for the Prevention of Teen Suicide and P Preferred Behavioral Health. Remember, the auction is live right now, so keep those bids coming through uh, Monday, the auction will close. Again, thank you for being here. Enjoy the program. This program cannot happen without the support of our sponsors. Especially in times like this, our sponsors literally stepped up to the plate and said, this event will happen. So I'd like to take a moment and individually thank our Opal, Silver, Platinum, and Diamond sponsors. Our Diamond sponsor of this event is BMW of Freehold. Our Platinum sponsor is Center State Healthcare Systems. Heroes work there. Our silver sponsors are Eagle Oaks, Ocean First, and Americans for Prosperity. Our Opal sponsors are Zephan Gelati of Advisors Mortgage Group, Wendy Wallace of Ola Head Title, BCB Community Bank, Brookdale Community College, Investors Bank of Freehold, Northeast Spine and Sports Medicine, RMB Regency Management Group, Car Concierge, and Mark Vigiani of Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, Fox and Roach. For our Sterling sponsors and supportive sponsors, please visit the Chamber's website. From the bottom of our hearts, we thank you. The Athena Awards would like to honor the United States of America in the playing of the National Anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light What so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming Oh, beautiful for spacious skies, for amber waves of grain for purple mountain majesties above the fruited plain from the lakes of minnesota to the hills of tennessee across the plains of texas from sea to shining sea from detroit down to houston and new york to l.a well, there's pride in every American heart, and it's time we stand and say, God bless America, land that I love, America, America, God shed His grace on
gentlemen, we want to say a huge thank you to each and every one of you guys participating in our live gift auction. Now, the auction will continue throughout the entire award show and throughout the entire weekend and will end on Monday at 12 p.m. And all the winners will be electronically notified. Now, if you haven't jumped in our gift auction yet or donated to either of our nonprofits, we need you to go to bidpal.net slash Athena. One more time, it's bidpal.net slash Athena. Now, all the proceeds, 100% of it, is going to be split down the middle and donated to both of our nonprofits. Now, let's learn more about both of these nonprofits and learn more from some important people behind the scenes. So, again, I need a virtual round of applause for Dawn Darty, the Executive Director of the Society for the Prevention of Teen Suicide, and a huge round of applause for Linda Keenan, the Chief Development Officer of the Preferred Beha Behavioral Health Group. Enjoy. Hello, I'm Dawn Darty, Executive Director for Society for the Prevention of Teen Suicide. First, I'd like to congratulate all of our Athena and Young Professional Athena nominees for today. Thank you so much for your support and dedication within our communities. We'd also like to thank the Monmouth Regional Chamber of Commerce for selecting SPTS as one of the two charity beneficiaries for today's event. SPTS is a nonprofit based in Freehold dedicated to increasing education and awareness of our communities to help decrease the rates of suicide in teens. We do this through a variety of programming in person and online for educators, parents, trusted adults, and teens. Your generosity today through donations and through support of the online auction will help these vital programs continue. Thank you so much and we hope you have a wonderful day. Hello, my name is Linda Keenan and I am the Chief Development Officer for Preferred Behavioral Health Group. And on behalf of our organization, I would like to thank the Monmouth Regional Chamber for including us as part of this prestigious Athena Award event. For over 40 years, Preferred Behavioral Health Group has provided assistance, support, and treatment for individuals with mental illness, substance use disorders, and addictions. Last year, we helped over 30,000 people through our 70 comprehensive programs. We have programs and treatment for all ages, all genders, all races, all ethnicities, all socioeconomic groups. And like the Athena, who recognizes leadership and trailblazing efforts. Preferred Behavioral Health Group is a leader in behavioral health through with its many trailblazing programs. We change lives and save lives every day. Again, thank you for the opportunity to be part of this event. We are honored and privileged and we really want to congratulate all of the Athena Award nominees and the Young Athena nominees. Thank you. I'm proud to once again this year introduce the founder of the Athena Awards program, Martha Mertz. Greetings from Athena International. I'm Martha Mertz, proud advocate for the mission and vision we share, particularly with regard to the Athena Award the gold standard for recognition of women as leaders across this country and beyond. In these few minutes, I'd like to deepen your understanding about this award, its background, and its meaning. Some of you may remember 1982. The world was changing. There were burning questions about the roles for women in our society. People were upset and angry, some had marched in the streets. I wasn't comfortable with marching, but I cared deeply about this discussion. I was inspired by a quote from Plato, what is honored in a country will be cultivated there. We thought by lifting women who already were leaders, we would open the way for those who wish to become so. Our aim was to achieve a balance in the voices of leadership. That's why Athena International was created. Now move forward to 1992, 10 years later. 
I thought surely we would have achieved a balance by then. There were Athena Awards all across the country, but guess not. Then the Kellogg Foundation stepped forward with a grant to study the ways women lead. The result, the Athena Leadership Model, a set of eight core principles drawn from women that presented a distinctly different structure for leadership practices. Fast forward to today, now more than 30 years later, we still haven't achieved a balance. Honoring women is still just as important today, but honoring isn't the only thing, it's what we honor. Recall Plato, what is honored in a country will be cultivated there. Women's ways of leading are more circular than hierarchical, more inclusive. It's less about the titles and more about the purpose. This model starts with the single hottest topic for living today, authenticity. What does that mean? Perhaps Billie Jean King said it best. She said, I think self-awareness is the most important thing toward becoming a champion. Self-awareness. The leaders asking themselves, who am I? What do I value? Am I living my values? Tie that with learning constantly, both about ourselves and about our world. Athena leaders advocate fiercely for what they passionately believe in. And when the moment arises, they are willing to act courageously, standing alone, telling their truth. Through all this, this kind of leadership fosters collaboration bringing as many voices to the table as possible when decisions are made that affect all of us. These leaders value building relationships, truly engaging with others and trusting them. They value giving back, making the world a better place. And finally, they celebrate the unbreakable bonds of unity forged by working with their colleagues. Today, you are lifting your Athena nominees and a recipient, people who have served as role models for all of you. I hope you will take the time to recognize their strengths and most importantly, to understand your own. On behalf of Athena International, our board of directors and our staff, I send my warmest heartfelt congratulations to you and to your community for truly making a difference. Thank you. Over the past 35 years, we've had some pretty incredible Athena recipients. This year, we were able to make a little video showing you some of our past Athenas. Hi, I'm Elaine Wargamari and I was an Athena Award winner in 1997. That's 23 years for those of you who are counting. And I'm very honored to be able to participate virtually in this year's Athena Award 2020. Hello, I'm Linda Keenan, Chief Development Officer for Preferred Behavioral Health Group, Athena 2014. Hi, my name is Mary Patty Angelini. I'm the CEO of Preferred Behavioral Health Group. I had the honor of receiving the Athena Award in 2008. Mary Ann Torrey, 92, Athena recipient. Congratulations, outstanding nominees. Do your best, be wise, be kind, good luck. Hello, my name is Patty Carlesimo. I'm the executive director of Lattice and Network, and I'm the proud winner of the Athena Award from 2017. Greetings from Las Vegas. I'm Patricia Lindbergh, Athena 2000. I'm currently the co-president and co-founder for the Rosebud Auxiliary in support of St. Rose Dominican Hospitals of Nevada. Hello, I'm Dorothy Avalon, 1994 recipient of the Athena Award. And now it's 2020 and it's your turn. Good luck and God bless each one of the nominees. I'm Margaret Carmelli, Principal Attorney at Arthur Kerman, 1998 Athena Award recipient. Congratulations to everyone here today that's being recognized. 
Hi, I'm Jordan. And I'm Joelle Hernandez, and we are the first Young Athena recipients. Back in 2016, we had the honor of being presented with the first Young Athena Award, and we have been grateful ever since. Yes, thank you all so much, again, continuously, for our award back in 2016. And we are just so honored and blessed to be able to pass the torch on to other Young Athenas who have won the award after us. It has been such an integral part of our growth and our community over the last couple of years, still working at our roles at Media Planet. Yeah, we are so happy that um, folks like Ivy and others who are on the committee thought it not robbery to still have the event this year. We know that everything looks a lot different for everyone out there. We are working from home. Our apartment has become our new workspace, just like everybody else. So we are so grateful that everybody still has the opportunity to come together and network um, because we know the power of this award. Absolutely. Even not being together, we still feel the support and the guidance that we have felt unconditionally for the last four years since we've won. Since that time, we've been able to grow our careers and be promoted, each of us, several times since 2016, starting our own businesses, publishing another children's book, and it has all been because of the support of the Athena community. Yes, congratulations to everybody who is a part today. We thank you so much for being a part of this wonderful community, like we keep saying, and we are so, so happy to be a part. Congratulations once again to our past Athena recipients. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts for staying involved in this program and helping us keep it going. But now, I am excited to present our 2020 Athena and Young Professional Athena nominees. Sarah Nabart is the mayor of Mendham Township. She is also a Republican political and public affairs professional. Before that, she served as the statewide political director for Lieutenant Governor Kim Galgano's campaign for governor. In 2016, Sarah was the campaign manager for Scott Garrett for Congress and the National Ballot Access Director for the Chris Christie for President campaign. In addition to her work on campaigns, Sarah is leading the fight against the growing problems posed by excessive taxes. In 2017, Sarah founded Citizens for Accountable Taxation, an organization that seeks to educate New Jersey residents on our highest in the nation property taxes and the negative impact that these taxes have on residents and businesses across the state. CAT's current campaign is Fair Property Taxes for New Jersey. For more information, check out fairpropertytaxesforallnewjersey.com. In 2018, Sarah entered public service when she was appointed to the Amendum Township Committee. Sarah was re-elected and was voted deputy mayor by her colleagues in January 2019. In 2020-20, Sarah was voted mayor. In addition to her political and professional accomplishments, Sarah works for the Mason Harriman Group and is currently pursuing a master's degree in taxation policy. Sarah graduated from the University of Wisconsin Honors Program with a BA in political science and a certificate in Middle Eastern Studies. Sarah speaks English, Arabic, and Hebrew, and has spent significant time living and traveling around the Middle East. She currently resides in Mendham Township with her husband, Josh Barrer, and their 10 pet pigs. Vanessa Arillo is a Colts Neck native. She discovered her passion of medicine in 2015. After completing a bachelor's degree in business administration at Temple University, she decided to make her entrance into the healthcare field. Vanessa started her medical profession as a medical assistant at the Lombardi Plastic Surgery Center, where she trained under the direction of Anthony Lombardi. She is currently pursuing a Bachelor of Science in Nursing degree from Wagner College, where she anticipates graduating from in December 2020. Starting in January 2021, Vanessa will begin the next chapter of her career as an RN at the Lombardi Plastic Surgery Center. She also has plans to begin her master's program next summer in hopes to become a nurse practitioner. Currently, Vanessa serves her community as a volunteer EMT. She is a proud member of the Marlboro First Aid Squad, and she takes an immense amount of pride in being a first responder. 
Vanessa has a true passion for emergency medicine and finds her role as an EMT to be very rewarding. In 2015, Vanessa had the honor of being Miss New Jersey USA and representing the great state of New Jersey in the nationally televised Miss USA competition. Being a title holder granted her an opportunity to be the leader within her community and volunteer with many organizations. After passing the crown, Vanessa decided to become a pageant coach to help other girls fulfill their dreams. She believes that she not only has the ability to help these young women do well in competition, but also help them be more successful in their everyday life. In her spare time, Vanessa enjoys spending time outdoors, listening to country music, or hanging out with friends by a fire pit. Vanessa believes that with hard work, determination, and perseverance, anything is possible. After more than 14 years at a tech company and nearly 25 years in training mentorship roles through her own businesses and ventures, Danielle has found that authentic networking, international collaboration, a trusted support system, and knowledge sharing are powerful tools for success. Danielle has built a quality network of trusted connections and resources and is an advocate and supporter of small businesses and startups as well as their customers. When she speaks and consults with other professionals, she focuses on topics that help companies grow and network in ways that create positive, collaborative opportunities to reach and surpass their goals. Danielle seeks opportunities to serve and connect those who need the most help in the moment. She has a soft spot for women, family-owned businesses, and has participated in events that support a wide range of causes, including promoting body positivity, advocating for mental health, supporting women in tech, and raising awareness for rescue animals. Danielle donates a portion of ticket proceeds to a charity that aligns her values when running her own programs and events. Some of Danielle's current organization and business roles include Director of Operations for a Startup, Global Member of Fem City, Board Member of the Association of Women Inventor and Entrepreneurs, Volunteer with Light to Earth Sanctuary, member of ETT Women, and a platinum member of the E-Women Network, to name a few. Danielle enjoys spending her free time half starting craft projects, traveling, working on passion projects and opportunities, brainstorming with other creatives, taking advantage of the trails and waterfront parks in Middletown, helping care for local strays, having game nights with friends and family, and spending time with her husband and their rescue cats. Loki and Thor at their home on the Jersey Shore. Reach out to connect on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Instagram or at DanielleBWoolley.com. Who is Judy Cruz? Judy Cruz is a woman who exemplifies the beauty of being independent, compassionate, giving, and strong. She is a mother of two children, a 23-year-old daughter, and a departed son who was a special needs child and one of her biggest motivations. At age 13, she landed a job at UMDNJ assisting in the pulmonology testing center through a summer youth program. Here, she learned her path was already chosen. Interacting with patients, exploring, and learning anything medical became supernatural. In high school, she was active in sports where she played on the varsity softball and basketball teams. Characterizing her leadership by being a captain, her team won four consecutive city championship titles. Receiving the Paul Bogatko Scholarship her senior year was one of the many accomplishments she achieved. This was a scholarship given to only Newark, New Jersey students with good academic standing and interest in pursuing a career in the health and physical education field. During her early years at Montclair State University, she was a founder of a chapter in a sorority called Mu Sigma Upsilon Sorority Incorporated. 
The sorority is grounded by three main goals, academic excellence, unity amongst all women, and to be active in the university and community. Judy later obtained her bachelor's degree in business management at the University of Phoenix. She received the Latican Mission Award in 2005 that recognizes outstanding employees who demonstrate excellent job performance and dedication. Judy utilizes her broad scope of knowledge and uses her training as a licensed practical nurse to ensure the health and safety of Latican clients and all agency employees. Today, she continues to represent these values with a combination of her own values and leadership skills by empowering and mentoring those around her. Maureen's parents instilled in their six children the duty to be civic-minded and socially responsible. It's her calling to be involved, lend a helping hand, and care for others. Maureen's community involvement began at an early age and continues today. In middle school, she was elected the class president of the newly formed student council and served annually on her high school student government association and as the president of her senior year. Maureen continued her involvement in the schools as a parent. As an elected officer of the PTO and serving as president for six of the 16 years of service at all school levels. Maureen was a player and member of Freehold Soccer League, where she coached for 25 years and served on the board for six years. Maureen has served on communities for the Graham Preston Foundation for Life, the American Cancer Society Relay for Life, and Susan G. Coleman. Maureen was a Freehold Township Parks and Recreation Commissioner for 10 years, serving as chairman for three of those years. Maureen has served as a Monmouth County Fee Arbitrator for the past five years and is a member of the Freehold Sunrise Optimist Club, to date running 11 blood drives for the American Red Cross and collecting over 7,000 pounds of food for Joint Base McGuire Dix Lakehurst Red Cross. Maureen is now an elected Freehold Township Committee person where she is currently serving a three-year term. During the pandemic, Maureen helped to create Project Senior Sew that donated over 5,000 masks to Center State Medical Center. Maureen and her husband, Eric Fasano, own a farmer's agency in Freehold. They have been mentors through the Block Institute of Brooklyn, serving young adults with disabilities and with the Allentown High School Senior Practicum Program. Maureen is the proud mother of three grown sons, Matthew, Nicholas, and Mark. Frances Keene has been a leader and mentor in the human resources field for 42 years, as well as a dedicated community advocate. Fran is passionate about giving back to the community where she works and lives. She has a particular interest in organizations that foster leadership skills in local young women and in those that connect local community members with career development skills and job opportunities. She has served for a combined 30 years as a board chair and board member in both the Workforce Development of Monmouth County and the Girl Scouts of the Jersey Shore who recognized her with their Woman of Distinction Award for 2020. She has also held various leadership roles for professional membership organizations to learn, share, and expand upon resources and knowledge for human resources professionals in the healthcare industry. She joined Center State Healthcare System in July 2001, where she has been the Vice President, Chief Human Resource Officer, Human Resources, for the past 19 years. In this executive leadership role, Fran is dedicated to matching passionate people with their dream jobs and is committed to helping Center State's employees thrive. She has deployed effective talent management strategies and employee health and wellness initiatives that have lowered costs for the hospital and improved employee satisfaction. 
Under Fran's leadership, along with her ingenuity, creativity, and passion, Center State has received numerous honors and awards. Most poignantly, Fran has remained a beacon of light through the coronavirus pandemic that unfolded this past year, supporting Center State in both the challenging and celebratory moments. Fran and her team have been instrumental in providing employees with physical and emotional well-being guidance to support themselves and their families through these unprecedented times. Fran received her BA in communications from King College of New Jersey and an MS in human resources and organizational design from Capella University. In her leisure time, she enjoys walking her dog, Princess Lily, traveling, listening to podcasts, and binge watching TV. She is grateful for her wonderful husband, Kevin, and her fabulous children, Sarah and Brian. Dr. Denise Wunderler is a sports medicine physician who graduated from Kansas City University of Medicine and Biosciences and then completed her family medicine residency and sports medicine fellowship within the Cleveland Clinic Health System in Cleveland, Ohio. Prior to her medical training, she graduated from Muhlenberg College in Allentown, Pennsylvania, where she played collegiate basketball for four years and was the team captain. She then worked as a research scientist at Merck in New Jersey for six years before attending medical school in Kansas City, Missouri. She currently works in a private practice in Freehold, New Jersey. She is a mom of three, including her youngest, Vienna, who died at age two and a half without explanation in 2017. She is the founder and president of her family's 501c3 nonprofit, Team Vienna 4, SUDC. Sudden Unexplained Death in Childhood Awareness, Inc., in honor of her daughter, and a co-founder in the SUDC Coalition. She is also the founder of Vienna's Day of International SUDC Awareness, www.vienna.team or www.sudccoalition.com. Dr. Wunderler has been a team physician with USA Volleyball and FIVB for the past 11 years and travels internationally to support Team USA. She was honored as one of the top 10 inspiring women in osteopathic medicine in a national publication in 2020. She is a national speaker, published author in peer-reviewed journals, has been interviewed dozens of times by the media, co-wrote a song for her deceased daughter Vienna, co-designed the Vienna Collection of designer handbags and designed the V Halo logo in honor of Vienna. Because of her family's tragedy, Dr. Wunderler works tirelessly educating the medical community and the general public worldwide about Vienna's story and SUDC. She is very passionate about finding causes for the SUDC and is currently working directly with medical schools to incorporate SUDC into their yearly curriculum. Now I'm honored to introduce one of Athena's biggest supporters, Freeholder Director Tom Arnone. Good evening, and I would like to thank the Monmouth Regional Chamber of Commerce for allowing me to be here tonight, not quite in person, but here in, in spirit here. Um, I want to thank the Regional Chamber for all the hard work they do, and then especially I want to thank all the nominees tonight that are a vital part of the success of Monmouth County. Um, in the past, I would be there in person to thank each and every one of you. Um, as times have changed, as we all know, through COVID-19, that isn't gonna be able to happen this year. But we will be back next year, hopefully, God willing, to be able to, and I could say thank you to each and every one of you. With that being said, I wanna congratulate all the nominees. Judy Cruz, Lattison Network. Maureen Fasano, Farmers Insurance, Free Old Township Committee. Francis Keene, Central State Healthcare System HR. Dr. Denise Wunderler, Team Vienna for SUDC and Sports Medicine Physician. Young Professionals nominees, Sarah Nybert, Medem Township Mayor, currently the youngest female official elected in New Jersey. Vanessa Ori Lowe, Lombardi Plastic Surgery. 
Daniel Woolley, Daniel Woolley Consulting, LLC. We will have a winner, um, but I will tell you in the eyes of the Monmouth County Board of Chosen Freeholders and Monmouth County, you're all winners in our eyes. And again, I want to congratulate you and I want to thank the chamber for all the hard work that they do. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we hope you guys are having an amazing time with our virtual Athena Awards. Now, we're about halfway through, and make sure, if you guys haven't done so yet, to jump to bidpal.net slash Athena. One more time, it's bidpal.net slash Athena in order to bid uh, on one of our items in our silent auction, but also donate to two of our nonprofits tonight. So what's gonna go down, we're gonna do a little commercial break to highlight all of our sponsors that sponsored the Athena Awards, and we're coming back with Ivy Jacob. All right, guys, we changed up the scenery for you, and we came all the way down to Freehold, New Jersey, to Freehold BMW, and I am here with the diamond sponsor, Bob Fleischman, the general manager here at Freehold BMW. And Bob, thank you so much for having us today. Thank you for coming, thank you. Yeah, so, uh, you know, we have a little bit of time, so I kind of want to jump in and talk to you and talk about, you have a lot going on here through these unique times. And, you know, kind of talk about the reconstruction, the little face up that you have going on here, and talk about how you guys are adapting with the unique times, if you like to say. Okay, we're glad to. So as you can see, that we have all the social distancing set up, we have the plexiglass and all the uh, uh, climb advisor stations, we've got hand sanitizer everywhere. You bring your car in for service, we immediately cover the steering wheel and the seats with plastic, and the car is disinfected before it's returned back to the customer. So feel no fear in coming in, uh, we're going to take care of you like we always do. Absolutely. But Absolutely. you mentioned the construction project. Uh, yeah. And maybe it's a blessing in disguise that this is going on right now during this uh, pandemic. We're trying to get it done because November and December really are the busiest months of the whole year. So we're right. going to be in there. So we're working around it. Uh, improvise, adapt, and overcome. That's it, baby. You got to keep <laughs> pivot and pivot and pivot. Exactly. Right? So it's actually a perfect time, right? Uh, you know, you're getting the face up. There's not a lot of traffic coming in and out. And now you're able to revamp the place. So when people start coming for the holiday season, where everyone wants a new gift or just a new car for the new year, uh, you know, you guys will be more than ready. So speaking about new gifts, let's talk about this Batmobile that you brought into us today. This thing is hot. Uh, give us a little breakdown. All right, friends. This is the brand new N440. Uh, you can see this the nostalgic kidney grill here. It's the vertical grill. Dates back, uh, I forget the years, you know, with the, with the, but they, they're bringing it back to make the car look different. Um, this is close to 400 horsepower, so it's going to get you where you need to go pretty quickly. That's awesome. Uh, and uh, you can see the uh, red brake calipers, and just a sharp looking car. Absolutely. I, I love it because it's not too over the top, but you still got the need for speed kind of look. And then you have some nice classic uh, home ridge there with, with the grill, you know, yes. kind of bringing it back. Yes. So um, that's awesome. So I kind of wanted to wrap it up and bring you to where, you know, being able to be a diamond sponsor to any prestigious award is great, but what it makes it super special to be a part of the Athena Award? Well, uh, the Athena Award started with the old owner, uh, King BMW. Uh, we took over the dealership in 2006, I believe, and we continued the tradition. It's a great cause. Uh, every year I go to these award ceremonies and one woman is more brilliant than the next. I mean, when you think about, they manage a career, they manage their family, and they're giving back to the community, it's, it's really overwhelming, and it, and it many times brings a tear to my eye, so I couldn't think of a better thing to support. That's awesome, and we appreciate you supporting uh, the award show, and obviously being the Diamond Sponsor. Thank you. So, kicking it back to you guys, and check out all of our sponsors. Bob, thank you so much, we appreciate it. Thank you. And for all you guys at home, make sure you guys come check out Bob at Beamer, uh, BMW Freehold. What if having a chronic illness wasn't an obstacle, but an opportunity? And turning off the risk of diabetes was possible by turning on to healthy living. What if stress could be managed with less medication and more meditation? And achieving better health didn't depend on willpower, but on wellpower. Centrist State turns what if into what is. 
with innovative care that helps you live life well. Hi, I'm John Gribben, President and CEO of Center State Healthcare System in Freehold. I want to offer my sincere congratulations to all of the Monmouth Regional Chamber of Commerce 2020 Athena nominees. You have all demonstrated the ideals behind the Athena Awards through your professional excellence, valuable service to the community, and by helping women achieve their leadership potential. Thank you to the Monmouth Regional Chamber for continuing to host the Athena Awards. Good luck to all today. What I love about Ocean First Bank is knowing that every single customer that walks through those doors is being treated like family and we all work together as a team here. I think that we take the time to get to know our customer and help them with what they need to be helped with. Hi everyone, my name is Ashley Rizone and I'm the Grassroots Engagement Director for Americans for Prosperity New Jersey. On behalf of Americans for Prosperity New Jersey, we just wanted to say congratulations to all of the Athena nominees, especially our friend, Mayor Sarah Nybart. Congratulations again to everyone and we look forward to supporting you guys in the future. All right guys, so we are here inside the foyer and the lobby of the beautiful Eagle Oaks Country Club and we are here with Jim, the event uh, director here, and be able to kind of give us a rundown on Eagle Oaks. You know, you guys have been around for many years. You're always adapting, and uh, you guys are always hosting some of the most uh, um, elegant and prestigious weddings, corporate events, you know, all types of social and private events. So why don't you give them a little bit more of a background on Eagle Oaks and some of the things that you're doing to adapt with the times. Well, basically right now we're able to do uh, multicultural events, weddings, corporate events. Uh, we've set up tents and other options so people can still hold their events. And those that have had problems, we've been able to move and accommodate them. Uh, we have um, two backup generators here, so we're pretty much operational all season long. And we can do up to uh, approximately 600 people, depending on the type of an event. That's awesome, and you're able to access, you know, obviously the outdoor patio, and you have multiple different rooms that you guys are able to utilize uh, for events? Yes, we can do multiple events, mostly during the afternoons, because we have about five spaces that we can accommodate. Six if you count um, downstairs, which sometimes we can use in case we uh, need some extra space. Awesome, awesome. Well, we thank you so much for letting us come here and uh, you know host the entire Athena Awards, and thank you so much for being a sponsor. It was my pleasure. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, thank you very much. All right, thanks. Hi, I'm Elaine Warga Murray, and I'm a proud Opal sponsor of this year's 2020 Athena Awards. I own Regency Management Group, RMG Inc., which is a full-service property management and community association management company. We also do expert testimony for associations and management companies. Make sure you call us when you need us. Hi, this is Mark Vigiani with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services Real Estate, home office at a home Dell, New Jersey. Congratulations to all the 2020 Young Professional and Athena nominees. Hi everyone, my name is Tom Palella and I'm the owner of Car Concierge Plus, as well as a member of the Monmouth Regional Chamber of Commerce. I want to express my sincere congratulations and admirations to all the 2020 Young Professional and Athena nominees. You all serve as role models in encouraging other passionate and fearless women to achieve their leadership potential. Best of luck to all the nominees. Once again, I'd like to thank our very generous sponsors for helping make this program happen. Now, I would like to introduce you to our 2019 Athena Young Professional Teresa Velarde. Hi everyone, um, my name is Teresa Velarde and I'm the 2019 recipient of the Athena Young Professional Award. Um, first and foremost, I want to congratulate everyone that is nominated today, everyone that's here for all of your efforts, your accomplishments, and your hard work. You obviously have made it here for a reason and you've been nominated because people have recognized all of the efforts you've made for your community, for your professional experience, and for the women around you. I think um, now more than ever, we need to reward and acknowledge all of the accomplishments of the people around us, especially young women. Um, it, it, it's, it's definitely a hard time for us trying to figure out and navigate through some obstacles. And I think that we all need to work together and to continue to inspire each other and to be there for each other and to lift each other up is the biggest thing. Um, 
I really want to wish you all the best in your endeavors and congratulate you for making it this far. The amount of work you have done, I've read through all the resumes, I've read through all of your work. It's incredible and it's inspiring and it, even if you don't realize it and you don't always think about it, you are inspiring young people and the people around you, the people that are older than you that have seen how much you've accomplished at such a young age. Um, and just keep that going. Um, it's definitely gonna be hard at times and I'm sure you feel defeated at times or exhausted at times with everything that you're doing, but keep going and know that you're making a big difference and a big change in this world. So congratulations, best of luck for all your future endeavors and, and all your future accomplishments and your efforts. And I know this is just the beginning for, for all of you. Um, and I would like to pass the torch to the 2020 um, uh, winner. <laughs> congratulations, everyone. And now for last year's 2019 Athena, I'd like to introduce Willa Egerton Chisler. Good afternoon. I'm Willa Edgerton Chisler, your 2019 Athena leader. Thank you for the invitation to come in and join you virtually because this pandemic is a health and financial crisis that has turned people's lives and workplaces upside down. I just read a, a very disturbing report that women are looking to leave the workplace the challenges that they're facing, the additional work week hours that they're getting, having them to be not only taking care of their families like they always do, but also the added responsibilities around educating their children and also caregiving the various members of their family. Women are looking to leave the workplace four to times more than their male counterparts which is going to impact the gender diversity in our businesses and organizations and corporations around the globe. Two of the Athena leadership principles, which I am challenging all Athena past and future and the 2020 Athena leader to execute right now. And that is to act courageously and to advocate fiercely for all women. We must check in and ask our women, how can I help you and are you okay? And I think that as we move forward in 2021, Athena leaders, we need to ensure that we are being there for and championing in the companies to make them address the challenges that our women are facing. Thank you and enjoy your lunch. Thank you so much, Teresa and Willa, for those inspiring words. I have to say that now is the time to say goodbye to 2019, hello to 2020 Athena nominees and recipient to be. I want to just say that a star does not compete with other stars around it. It just shines like our seven nominees. And I cannot say enough how proud I am of each and every one of you. You are really, truly inspiring. And each and every year, I am more amazed at the women and women that we get to meet. Some men, but mostly women. Um, with that said, we are virtual. And being virtual is still new to us. And we were able to get all of our nominees together in via a Zoom room. So Frankie, can you please bring our nominees onto the screen so we can all see them as we get prepared to introduce our 2020 Athena recipients. So now it's time to start with our Athena Leadership Award. Our 2020 Athena Leadership Award recipient is in this envelope. However, I promised that this year would be different. Anybody who knows me knows that this year was going to be a little bit different. Not just virtual, but we are definitely going live because I hear a knock at the door. Do you? Whose door is that? 
Our 2020 Young Professional Leadership Award goes to, ready? Answer your door. Come on. Danielle Woolley, answer that door, our Athena Young Professional Leadership Award recipient. Let's have a virtual round of applause for Danielle. Danielle, answer that door. We know you're there. So let's go back to the Zoom room. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You're so welcome. Much. I have my life canceling headphones on. So really <laughs> That's good. So, go to so if you yeah, can just back. take your award. Congratulations. Go back to your Zoom room and give us a few words. <laughs> Danielle, we'll give you a few moments to get back to your Zoom room. But we want to congratulate you. It's really important that everybody knows that the scoring this year was so close that I could not believe it. It was one point away from each other. You really all are phenomenal. And with that said, Danielle, we're going to give you a few moments so you can just accept your award. Is she able? Hi, everyone. Thank you so much. Um, this is really nice being with so many amazing people. Everyone's so inspiring, and I appreciate you guys so much. Um. All right. Just be ready to join the committee for next year, Danielle. You yes. Have a tough job right, right ahead I, of you. You know me by now. I already have ideas. <laughs> That's awesome. And now for our 2020 Athena Leadership Award, again, I am not kidding you when I say the scoring was one point away from each other. So we say this a million times, but you are all winners. I am grateful that, we, that you're part of our life and our Athena life, and we look forward to being with you forever and sharing this uh, program with you. But our 2020 Elite, Athena Leadership Award goes to, do we hear another knock? You're in. Okay, Francis Keen. 16 1 Firehouse. Central State Healthcare Systems. Congratulations, Francine. If you could say a few words, that would be awesome. So this is so unexpected and so greatly appreciated. Where's Vince? <laughs> Thank you, Vince, for nominating me. It's a great honor. Thank you to all the other nominees. It's been an honor to be included with you. I've been inspired by your stories. And I look forward to being on the committee. Yay! <laughs> Thank you. We look forward to it, too. You have no idea what torture is in for you for next year. The fact of bringing it virtual was extremely difficult. We uh, usually already know each and every recipient um, and, and nominee. We, we're in a room full of 250 to 300 people. And um, we're just so happy and proud that our sponsors, One of a Kind Entertainment, and mostly our board and Monmouth Regional Chamber of Commerce was able to work together to put this program, keep it in place, and um, it's just a very important program to continue to have. And with that said, um, I do want to also remind everybody that there is a an live virtual auction going on. And that live virtual auction is very important because in today's surroundings and what's going on in today's world, suicide, drug addiction, depression, that is all very real and we could not have found two better local 
nonprofit um, partners to partner with. So please, please go on our um, the website and bid on some of the auction items that are there. But if you just want to participate in this program and be part of what we do, just a small donation. Large donations are okay too. Just anything to help our nonprofits. Um, so I thank you very much. And Therese, um, do you want to say a few words? Um. Our executive director, <laughs> Therese Rolke. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for participating in the 2020 Athena Awards. Can we all give Ivy and the committee a big hand because they did an amazing job to make sure we didn't skip a beat and we can continue to say next year the 36th consecutive award so we can continue um, with the awards nonstop. Uh, I think that's a great accomplishment, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Congratulations, Danielle. Congratulations, Fran. Congratulations to all the nominees. You are worthy of, of being a, an Athena nominee for all the work that you've done and, and the work in the community. And please keep going with what you have and let us know how we can help you and support you. If you need anything from the chamber, let us know. Um, we're all about uh, community and, and business and helping, helping everybody grow. So uh, I just want to say one of the last things we have to do here is for everybody who pre-registered for the uh, program, their name is gone on a wheel. And we're going to give away a $100 gift card to Amazon. And uh, you see this pretty colorful wheel here. Your name is on there if you pre-registered. We're going to spin the wheel, and we're going to have our uh, recipient of the Amazon gift card. So if you guys are ready, can we hear the, the sound? <laughs> Carrie! <laughs> Congratulations, Carrie. We know where to find you, and we will make sure we're going to send you that gift card electronically. Happy shopping. Let us know what you get. <laughs> Good time of the year to win a gift card. <laughs> I also want to congratulate and thank you, Frankie, from One of a Kind uh, Productions. His team worked so hard behind the scenes for the last, I don't know how many months, putting this together for us and getting this live on YouTube for us. And I and, uh, want to wanna thank you and your team, Frankie. And uh, we look forward to having you guys work with us again. And... Um, We'll get your name out there with the chamber as well. So thank you. I thank you. That's it. Uh, I think that's it. We're going to wrap it up with just a couple of more pieces that you'll see next. Thank you so much. We look forward to seeing you again next year. And the two of you at our first January 2021 meeting. That's right. We don't take a we take a six week break and we're back to work again. <laughs> so, bye everybody. Bye. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and that is a wrap on our first virtual Monmouth Regional Chamber of Commerce Athena Awards. Congratulations once again to all of our nominees and a huge big round of applause for Francis and Danielle, our two recipients of our 2020 Athena Awards. Now, ladies and gentlemen, thank you to all of the sponsors tonight that really came together and made this show what it is. And a huge thank you to Eagle Oaks for being our house venue this afternoon. And we hope you guys had as much fun with us as we had with you. Now, let's not forget, you guys can still donate to both of our featuring nonprofits this evening. So make sure if you guys haven't done so or know people that want to donate, they can go over to bidpal.net slash Athena. That's right. One more time. It's bidpal.net slash Athena to be able to donate to the Society of the Prevention of Teen Suicide and the Preferred Behavioral Health Group. Now this donation will be live throughout the entire day, throughout the entire weekend, and will end on Monday at 12 p.m. Ladies and gentlemen, we hope you guys had a tremendous time. We are super excited that we were able to make this happen. My name is Frankie Perez from One of a Kind Events, and we can't wait to see you next year at the 36th Annual Athena Awards.